What's up, everybody? I'm Puma Pete. I'm Musa. And we're Friendly Fire Co-op playing more giant golden angel statue. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, it's a new game recently uh, released by uh, Namco Bandai. Namco. Whoa, this place is awesome looking. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah, Na why? <laughs> why was Na why was the idea of Namco Bandai so shocking to you? Do they do they make games anymore? Don't they? Isn't Nam just... Is Namco Bandai a game company? I thought it was. Then why? What do you mean? Do they make games anymore? Then. I didn't know if they still were producing games. Or... I feel like they do. Oh, look at that thing. We should look it up. That thing is quite large and in charge. He's like that dude that I talked about at the gym. Yeah. It's basically that guy. He oh, I also... Oh, I, look at this chest. Wow. He oh. also has a very large shield of blue glowing aura. The guy at the gym could also do that. Just, like, make giant blue energy shields. It was nuts. Um, I like that we have the same hat on. I mean, we do kind of look the same. We're both, like, salt well. right now. Like, from uh, Aladdin. Prince, uh, oh, he, all right, he explodes on death. He's going to explode. Ow. Uh, <laughs> leader. You didn't believe me. Uh, no, I didn't get away fast enough. That's what happened. Uh, so the guy at my gym, um, I have a, a friend that's in a Navy ROTC, and uh, he came up to me. He, was, he happened to be lifting at the same time. I don't uh, lift with him. I lift with another friend. But uh, yeah. he comes up to me. And we were, he was, he was lifting next to that super crazy giant guy I was telling you about. And he said that it was like really uncomfortable because the guy was just like staring at him and growling as he lifted. Like he was like <laughs> doing triceps and just like staring my friend down and like making uh, got to noises assert dominance, that just apparently. Yeah, he was basically asserting his dominance. But uh, my friend came up to me and this told me. In, this isn't the jungle here. Apparently, Peter's gym is the jungle. <laughs> you gotta, gotta yeah, claim your territory fast. You have to like, fast. yeah, you have to, uh, like if 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 you want to be the new king, like the king of the lions, like you have to kill the current king of the lions. Who uh, my friend is not the king king of the lions by any means, but uh, the other guy could actually probably kill a lion, uh, both in in close range and long range, because my friend comes up to me. And it was like, you, you, we were talking about the guy, and he's like, yeah, dude, apparently he's an ex-army sniper. Fun. Yeah, so not only can he easily kill you from, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat just by, like, punching you once in the face really hard, which I'm absolutely convinced he can do. He could probably just end my life with one punch. But uh, if he doesn't get you up close, he's going to get you from far away. Oh, my God, that wall just turned into a turret even the walls are angry yeah that really cut place. <laughs> i just imagine the walls having like a frowny face on them they're just really up like those the angry eyes yeah they have like every cartoon <laughs> they just say angry things to you as you walk past like hey i'm gonna get you but i'm just a wall and i have no legs so they just or, or they're just really like passive aggressive and they're just like you look terrible today <laughs> it's just the hall of insults you're like oh you're looking a little fat you gained some weight there buddy <laughs> oh the life of an angry wall the life of an angry wall just saying mean terrible things to people that walk by you oh my god a moving turret now it's the walls have they've gained sentience when did that happen? Uh, literally five seconds ago, when I first saw this thing. This is horrifying. Oh, they do, they do so much damage. Oh, my God. Do they? Yeah, I just almost the got annihilated. Centuries? Yeah, for they destroyed me. One of them is multiplying. Oh, the, the ground's angry in here, too. It just shot saw blades at me. This place is very just not welcoming to their guests at all. This is horrible hospitality. This is what we get for going in random caves. It, no, it's a random blue glowing door. Even worse. He, even worse than caves are blue glowing doors. This is like the opposite of the uh, the house in the Beauty and the Beast. 
where all of the like oh all, where's the talking can all of the everything is just really nice and they like sing and dance and entertain bell as she develops like the most romantic case of stockholm syndrome in history <laughs> And it's very true. Yeah. Instead, everything in here just wants to kill us. It's like the scene whenever uh, Gaston wants to like storm the castle, and like the cabinets start like throwing pots and pans at him, and then the pots and pans come alive too because that's how the movie works. Just everything is. It's like the Toy Story of kitchen utensils, and they just start fighting him also. I have not. Is your pet that. on passive? Uh, no, he's on defensive. Ah. Oh, are you saying that Franklin's not helping? I don't appreciate. No, I'm saying what you're hey, insinuating. It's I don't appreciate what you're insinuating. Man, I don't like that these walls move. Yeah, I don't like it at all. Oh my God, there's now circular ones also. Mobile spawner. We should probably kill the mobile spawner. Yeah, they spawn those little uh, helicopter things that shoot at you. That's becoming more and more like Toy Story now. Just shoots those little helicopters that you can get at the mall that like helicopter guy sells. That's like literally his job title is helicopter guy, and he just flies the helicopter around the mall. Do you think they're paid to actually just go there and you? use them in the mall or do they just get so bored that nobody wants to talk to them they they open one up and just I feel like try and use one they I feel like they play it because it's supposed to like attract business if I yeah. guess like lore they lure all the little kids in with promises of how cool the helicopter is but like whenever you go to fly it you have no idea how to do it and instead it's just it's just a toy of lies I used to have one did like it work? one of the smaller like, ones. Yeah, it actually worked like it did in the mall. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was good. Dude, I saw Kinda one guy kind of uh, one guy at the mall. Uh, I think he was working at like a sunglass hut kind of stand. But uh, just sitting there with his laptop. Is that, like, is that like the new kind of pizza hut? Sunglass hut? Yeah, they deliver sunglasses right to your door. And they also stuff the like rims with delicious cheese. cheese. Uh, that guy's really scary. Come back here and look at him. I'll block off the That's guy. actually an angry wall. That's the angry... I feel like... I feel like they're going to come alive. If I have learned anything from this cave so far, is that everything in here is actively attempting to murder us. I feel like including the walls. Cutter is really, really a bad thing. Who's going to who's gonna make more of this awesome uh, masonry here? Masonry? Yeah. Because your name is Mason? No, not me. But also Rock that. Rockcutter's dead. But also that. Rockcutter is probably Ow. the ultimate rock, paper, scissors player. Because he, like, is a rock that can cut things. I guess. He has all of the advantages of rock and all of the advantages of, paper, of scissors, not of paper. So he's pretty much rock, scissors? Is that where we're getting at? He's... He's the same as Brock Scissors. Do you see that? Oh my god. What is this? It's a shock turret. And see, I told you everything in here is actively attempting to kill us. So, anyway, so in regards to the uh, guy that can, uh, the, the army sniper, I'm convinced that like when he was in the war, people would like finally get close range to him. They'd be like, alright, we're going to take out this sniper. And then they see him. And they're like, fuck it, let's go. We'll take the chances with the gun. And just retreated away from him. I'm convinced that's what happened. We yeah, also, yeah, probably. We also have no idea how he got through, like, training. Because he's so large, I don't understand how he can run. Clearly, he wasn't that large before. I don't know. I think he may have just, like, intimidated anyone that told him to run into... They're like, all right, guys, time for, you know, a nice five-mile jog. And then he would just get really, really close to him and just kind of be like, oh, is it? And they would be like, except you. You can I I'm pretty sure Richard Simmons guy jogging around with his weights could be. Uh, I don't... I love Richard Simmons guy, uh, Captain Mustache, if you will, is what I refer to him as. Which is awesome. <laughs> or the Mustache Avenger. The Mustache Avenger is the name of my character in this game, so it would be really bizarre. Um... 
to refer to him as that. But uh, as much as I love that guy, I'm pretty sure uh, literally the embodiment of the Hulk himself would be able to beat Captain Mustache. He's the closest to the Hulk that I think any human being will ever become. I don't know, Lou Ferrigno was a pretty big guy and he actually played the Hulk in the movies. Yeah, you mean the TV show, they didn't have movies back then, I don't think. I thought, I thought it was a movie. Uh, no, I think it was a TV show. Ah, oh, those saw blades hurt so bad. Maybe you shouldn't walk through the saw blades. I teleported onto a saw blade, I didn't walk through it. That's, that, that's like impaling yourself. Uh, I tried to skip. Oh, I have three skill points. Oh, wait, never mind. I already looked. There's nothing I want. Yeah, I tried to avoid uh, the. Are we at the boss? Look at these things. Is now the they're just angry, fiery axes. <laughs> the walls have just now gained the ability to also just spin axes. Oh, I just teleported onto one. That was the opposite direction of where I wanted to go. Are we gonna get to the boss this episode? Is this... Is this possible? Maybe. We didn't even make any false promises this time. Like, it just might happen. Alright, so I'm not gonna say it will happen yet. Because then if we do and it doesn't, then I feel like I'd be letting everyone down. But... We're making pretty, pretty quick progress. I'm pretty excited of the, the possibility of us fighting the Guardian of Mana. It's Sounds probably like a, a giant robot. I think that's a safe assumption to, be, to make. It's probably like one of those masks, only with arms and legs and not just a mask. Or it'll actually be like a mask like the Mask of Infamy from The Binding of Isaac, which is just the worst boss ever in any video game. Or the Lord of Flies. That guy was pretty hard. Oh yeah, super tough. I think the only boss just worse than the Mask of Infamy is uh, Ornstein and Smoke. Oh, these things from... do get angry. What do? Oh my god! Oh my... Holy crap. That's the first time I've seen that happen. Yeah, shoot like blue later. What's Ev over here? Everything in this place just wants to kill you. It's been confirmed. Um... I literally oh Ornstein and Smo that is actually just like the worst boss fight in history the first time like the first time you attempt it like I'm sure there are people on the internet they're like oh I beat it on my first time you know what guys you're clearly much better gamers than I because that boss fight is so freaking difficult I know you have no experience with Dark you know, Souls. You know what was a, uh, a hard boss fight? What? Sindragosa. Uh, that was a pretty terrible boss fight. Just ended all hopes and dreams we had back in the World of Warcraft days. And so did Boogie, disappearing. Yeah, we had a friendly, friendly healer who just lost. We lost him to the, the threats of the real world. I'm getting so many text messages right now about classes. I'm so much more popular whenever uh, it's like homework and test time. Ah. Yeah, I'm sure plenty of our our viewers can relate because I feel like it's probably a nerd thing in general. If you're I can. If you're one of the like smart nerds, not just like the video game only nerds. Uh, I am more popular around homework and test time than any other time in my life. Like everyone wants to be my best friend when it's time to submit homework and such. It's literally the only time I, I will ever know what it feels like. I have like made a terrible mistake. Of staggering all of the things. There were about a billion of those explosive bugs up there and I kind of face checked them. Uh, I'm surprised you're alive. These blue balls are really annoying. And like don't take Isn't that out. It's hugely annoying. Don't take that out of context. But yes, Mason, they are. It's a much, much different sense of the term, for sure. Uh, now I'm getting texts from my ex-girlfriend as well as my friends to help on the exam. My phone is out of control. Cab Mazar. What is I'm this guy? I'm gonna start texting you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I will not answer you. I'm not answering any of them, also. There's too much focusing going on right now. Oh, I found an enchanter up here. Oh yes, I love those guys. They're so helpful all of the time when we're trying to fight stuff. Alright, there's like a lot of stuff going on down here if you want to come and like help me instead of enchanting your stuff. I was fighting stuff up there. Sure you were. By fighting stuff, you just mean getting enchantments on your equipment. I was doing that at the same time, but I was fighting things. I hate you so much. That's the first time that's happened in a while. That's actually was an accident, though. <laughs> I meant to summon spores. That's what they all say. Um, maybe? I don't know if generally people summon spores. Yeah, you'd be, you'd be amazed at how often that exact phrase is said to me. It's really apparently, bizarre. Apparently, Peter has revealed everybody is a mushroom. <laughs> no, they 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 are not a mushroom. They just have the ability to summon like mushroom spores. Dude, the universe I go to has been just been really into that genetic engineering. We've developed. I mean, I would too. We've developed a mushroom people, just like. Uh, Ah, uh, you haven't played was Dark that Souls. A Dark Souls thing too. It was a yeah. Dark Souls thing. There were giant mushroom. <sighs> you need to play that game so that we can talk about it. Yeah, and it's not like we're playing Cave Simulator for 2014. No, we're playing um, giant golden statue with angel wings. You should absolutely play. Uh, play Dark Souls though. Maybe someday, but that day is not today. Or you should just watch uh, Strippin play it, because he's, like, playing through it right now on his YouTube channel. Who? Strippin? Strippin. More shout-outs to people that are just way farther above us than we will ever be. Uh, Polaris, take this as a hint, please. <laughs> Polaris, if you're watching, the uh, embodiment of Polaris. I don't even know what that um, is. Strippin. Stri is is Strippin the embodiment of Polaris? Yeah. I know he's the one who got Dodger in the show. Wait, really? Yeah. Um, Strippin didn't start Polaris, did he? Oh, I found a lever. Ooh hoo! Oh. Secret room. It'll probably just kill us. Uh, oh, oh my god, gold. so much kill gold. Kill us with gold! Oh my god! Oh, yeah. No, I was right. Oh, no. I told you. You didn't believe me. You didn't believe me. The cake is a lie. The cake is a fake, man. Oh, that was horrible. I took so much, so many axes. You know how much damage I took? None. Like none, because I was activating all the traps so you'd walk over them. Yeah, I was going to say it's because you would activate them and then I would immediately run directly over the axes. That's your fault for running the wrong, wrong direction. You ran the wrong direction. I was running clockwise. It's the most logical way to run. Uh, wait. I feel like this is the right way to go. I feel like it's not, because it's a dead end. Okay. Oh, jeez. Just more traps. More, Just more traps everywhere. Yeah, you should at least watch Strip and play Dark Souls, just so we can talk about Dark Souls. I, I've played seen it. a couple of people play Dark Souls. I knew about the Mushroom people. Oh, uh, okay. And isn't that the game with the uh, giant wolf with the uh, sword? Yes, it is. Why would a wolf need a sword? That's uh, ridiculous. It wasn't his sword. He was guarding it for a friend. Ah. A friend that turned into a terrifying hell monster, but a friend nonetheless. Pretty big friend if that sword's that size. Um, You know what? I feel like he was... Oh, you know what? He totally was. He was one of, like, the giants from Anne Orlando. Orlando Bloom. Oh. <laughs> he was one of the giants from Orlando, Florida. Uh, that's where my mom is right now. Your mom's in Orlando, Florida? Yeah, she has been for, for like, what? the past week. Oh, I remember you saying that now. Why is your mom in Orlando, Florida? Alright, uh, I'm going cause... to enchant the shit out of my wand, because I like this wand. She's uh, visiting like people. It. Oh yes, I love the amount of gold I find increasing. Just enchant this. I got too. luck. Luck and increase. This necklace. 
Welcome to Item Enchanting Simulator 2444, where you get to watch me. Hey, Peter, stop enchanting stuff items and help me fight stuff. Nope, this is revenge. Uh, how, how does it feel? Uh, it feels fantastic. Best feeling in the world. Why do you think I do it all the time, then? <laughs> it all makes sense now. Oh my god, I've used like all of my gold. I have to stop doing that. I had over 100,000 gold, and now I have like 20,000. You're the worst, man. I enchanted a lot of stuff. I had to enchant my uh, Sultan hat. Oh no, they teleport. I need to. He's the king of all the swords. We have to, you know, go introduce him to Mr. Quad Axe. You mean the king of? There was king of. There was the axe king and the sword king. Now, Mr. Quad Axe does in fact do the damage there. Yep. I mean, why else would you need four axes? Uh, to cut down four trees simultaneously. Ooh. I guess that makes sense. Didn't think of that, did you? Perhaps he's simply the king of lumberjacks. Well, then that's pretty impressive as well. <laughs> I didn't even know, you know, lumberjacks had a monarchy. Yeah, it's by the size of their beards that they get appointed. Uh, I actually, I believe that that might be how their union works. Like, a lot of unions function on, uh, like, how long you've been, like, at the company, but lumberjacks are just like, you have the finest of beards. And therefore, you shall be our king, and our mentor, and our guide. And cut down all of the trees. Must chop wood. Barrel skeleton. <laughs> How does he get in there? There like wasn't even a hole. Did they just construct the barrel around him? Yeah, it's a, it's an ancient form of torture. Barreling. So do you think, do you think when he was initially put in the barrel, he was not a skeleton, but he was alive? I mean. And it's he a form of torture, yes. has just become a skeleton every time he's been in there so long. I mean, he never died, so I guess it's a painful way of torture. And maybe he did die. Are, are skeletons undead like zombies, or are they still alive? I don't know. I, I feel... I could not tell you. As if that is... Maybe uh, there was just a curse on the, uh, the urn that I broke. I was like, hey, you have to come back to life and fight whoever broke the urn. That is an incredibly specific curse. Maybe. Well, <laughs> I'd like to think the urn is the last line of defense for the person that constructed this room. Or this entire, like, cave. Like, they just have all of these traps, and they were like, if someone can manage to get past all of these, we still have the urn. <laughs> It's not as bad as that one urn we broke the one time with the giant skeleton in it. Yeah, that was... I wasn't even mad at that point. I was just impressed that he fit in there. He was like... He the, also uh, had skeleton friends in there as yeah, well. They were having It'll a little skeleton a party. There's a chest. Alright. We will continue our journey through this Beauty and the Beast Orwellian nightmare next time on Friendly Fire Catalog. Bye. Bye.